there's a lot of blood. Blood spewing as people get bitten, as people get stabbed. Uh, some people are squirting blood into their mouth. There's a lot of blood. <laughs> I'm Megan Murhar. I am a dual major in acting and costume design, and I'm the makeup artist for Dracula. We don't have a makeup department in this school, usually. Most actors have only taken like one class in stage makeup, so leaving this to just the actors would have been um, a mistake. We have facial prosthetics, arm scars. At one point in time, a person is covered with full torso bruises. So half of our cast is called at five o'clock and they start getting ready. They put on a layer of lotion and they start doing their makeup. People who have prosthetics, they sit down in my chair and I put spirit gum on the back of the prosthetics, wait till it gets tacky and apply it to their face. Did anything... Since I came in so late to the process, the costume designer had already had several ideas. We have two people playing Dracula, so this is her rendering of the monster of Dracula, whereas this is Count Dracula. So for the monster, we're giving him what we like to call the Voldemort nose. We're basically flattening out his face and getting rid of as much of the nose shape as possible to make him look ridiculously alien. The show is running through Sunday the 30th. You can get tickets at the UM box office in the Part TV building. It's a lot of fun. It's going to be beautiful, insane, and terrifying. The actors are doing such a good job with their parts, and I'm really excited to see it go up.